Yo, what is going on guys? It's like 90 degrees Something like that I Zoomed in there a little bit Yeah, so it's hot as hell outside right now. It's like 91 92 whatever uh, California weather it's kind of bipolar. It's been like either 30 degrees or 100 degrees here That's probably why we get sick and yeah as you probably could tell my voice is like barely coming back I'd lost it. I don't know why it just uh, it's no fun, especially when you're at work and trying to do presentations and phone calls and whatnot. It's terrible. But yeah, I hope you guys will hear me right. But let's get into this video. There's some cool things coming up. And uh, here we go. So a few packages came in. Um, let's go and unbox these, see what they are. I'm uh, pretty sure I know what they are uh, for an upcoming install on a few parts on my car. <clears throat> so, and now of course, excuse my voice. So, go ahead and make fun of me for that. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. This one is 13 piece hex plate socket set because I always needed one of these. I never had one. It's going to come in handy when I do the um, next mod, which you'll find out in a second. I don't have it yet, but I'll tell you right now. Next up in this box is. <clears throat> Two-in-one brake bleeder vacuum style, so you could do the you could bleed the bleed the um, clutch and the brakes um, by yourself with a vacuum style bleeder. And this one's pretty cheap actually. I think it was like 22 bucks off Amazon. And uh, that's kind of what it looks like right there. So yeah, it's gonna allow me to do the uh, clutch. So you probably already know this is for the parent pitch stop brace install. And those I think are coming Thursday. So yeah, put this aside. Okay, so this is just a um, 10 millimeter flare nut wrench, box wrench, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you actually need this. Everyone's telling me you should get one just in case, because apparently it's a uh, it's a safe way of bleeding your clutch or brakes because you don't want to strip that bolt. This ensures you don't do that. It has more of a surface area to grab onto the nut itself. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think this is oil. Yep. This is more Schaefer's goodness. You already know what that is. Gotta change my oil again. So, Supreme 9000 5 weight 30. And I do change my oil every 4,000 miles. Um, just because I guess I kind of drive the car a little hard. And it is modified, so like I always say, it's the cheapest form of insurance if you can afford it, so why not? Um, I did do the Blackstone Labs uh, on these, and they there was no um, shearing of the oil at all at 4,000 miles. They even recommended I go up to 6,000, but you know, um, heck, if I can do it, then why not? So I got a few things coming up. Uh, we're going to do the parent pitch stop brace, and I also ordered the Subi Speed um, F1 style brake. F1 style rear fog. It is the clear lens with red reflector. I'm hoping it's gonna match with the taillights that are on there right now because those are also um, the red reflector with clear lens. So that's why I went with that. And they also just released their um, plug and play harness. You don't have to tap into the wires. You just unplug the harness off the back of the taillight, plug their harness in line, and it's just easy connect like that. So I don't have to touch the factory harness and mess with it, which was one of the big things I didn't want to do. So. There's that. So those are coming up, um, hopefully next week. Um, yeah, for today what we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle the air filter on the cold air intake. Uh, the reason it being is, the last time I changed it was at 8,000 miles and it was filthy. It was like completely destroyed. So it's been exactly another 8,000 miles since then. Um, so let's check it out. I think it's gonna be pretty darn dirty. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how you clean that and uh, the products I use to do that because you don't need to go get the fancy Mishimoto branded ones or if ETS sends their own, I'm not sure. But um, you could just use the regular k and kit from O'Reilly Auto Parts Store, Amazon, wherever. I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys want to get it. So let's get on with that. So this is the one I use, the k and Recharger. And I'll pop a link to this in the uh, description, of course. There's the part number, 995000. And uh, most of the intakes for um, our cars are all oil style filters like uh, the Mishimoto ETS and um, whatever, whatever else there is out there. The only one I know of that's not, it's a dry filter, is the AEM. 
So that's the exception there. Most cars, it's always going to be like an oil style filter. I've been using this kit particularly for many years. Uh, my last car as well. So let's get right into this. All right, so for my particular intake, we just need a flathead right here and a Allen key set. Just got to remove these Allen keys right here and the flathead to remove the actual filter itself. And you can already tell how dirty that is. Look, it focuses on that. There we go. That's what it looks like. It's not that bad. There's some parts that are really bad. It's actually not that bad at all. This bottom part's pretty bad. But yeah, we'll, we'll clean it out anyway. Also, I'm just gonna stuff this here with a clean microfiber just to make sure nothing falls in, because you never know. All right, so here's the instruction on how to actually do it. So you're gonna apply the cleaner on there, because uh, there's two parts in there, so there's two cans in there. Um, rinse it off and you're gonna dry the filter, you gotta air dry, you gotta let it out for about, I think it takes about 30 minutes out in the sun. And then just oil it with the spray. And you're gonna let the spray dry on there for about another 20 minutes. So, let's go ahead and do these steps. Got the filter. Some parts are really bad, some parts are not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this first and then we'll apply the cleaner on there. It's like just sand coming out of here, it's just straight sand. Okay, we got our cleaner. You're just gonna apply this liberally. Look at all this that's coming off of it just by applying the cleaner. It's supposed to loosen everything up and it does a really good job at it. Alright y'all, so this has been sitting here for about 30 minutes. It's all dried up. Um, that's like oil, so it's not actually wet. Let's go get this oiled up. All right, so the oil is actually in an aerosol can. It looks like this. So all we're gonna do is just kind of evenly spray it, just a nice thin layer. You don't have to overdo it for this. Um, less is more. You don't want to oversaturate this and just get the oil seeping right through it and collecting on your MAF sensor, because then you're gonna have all sorts of problems. You're gonna have to clean your MAF sensor and um, you know, been there, done that, don't want to do it. So less is more. All right, let's go ahead. So you just want an even like pink, I think it's that pink um, layer. See this is dry, oiled, dry, oiled. All right, that's all there is to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait till this dries off and I'm gonna clean all the extra res um, oil that's left over on top here and the sides. So I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, y'all, so it's been about 20 minutes. We can go ahead and reinstall this. Bad boy, let's go and do that.
and that's all there is to it. Alright y'all, so that's all there is to it. It's a pretty easy maintenance job to do. Um, and the cool thing about having a cold air intake is you never have to replace the filter. I mean, you can reuse it as many times as you want until the thing actually falls apart. I haven't really seen that happen before, so they're pretty much uh, for the life of the car itself. So, um, And the bottle and the k and recharge kit actually does last a long time. I've had that same one for a while now. Um, that's probably good for like 10 cleanings, I think, or I don't know, since you don't have to go really crazy with it. So, and if you do run out of one or the other, they do sell them separately. And I'm going to leave a link to, uh, this, link to, this, um, to the product itself in the description below if you guys want to check it out. So you guys will be able to see that. Uh, before I let you guys go, um, like I said, there's some few things coming up, like the fog light, the F1 fog light, the parent pitch stop brace. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to that install. <laughs> it seems like a pain in the butt so far from all the DIY videos I've seen. So if you guys want to see those, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, those will be coming up within the next week or two. And another thing I want to talk about is on my Canyon Drive video, I had a lot of people, maybe like a six seven people comments saying they want to go up next time with us so i'm thinking about doing like an open invite canyon drive up angeles sometime soon so keep your eye out for that um, i'll post a separate video about the invite and make a facebook page for that see if we can get something put together for that and that'd be pretty cool to do um so if you guys are local in the southern california los angeles area it's uh, it's a it's a nice drive to do so hopefully we could get that put together and uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.